All right, guys, today we're going to go over our Thursday shred class for this week. Our timer format is going to be a little bit different than we're used to. So we're going to set a timer for three minutes, and we have three exercises that we're going to do for each one of those minutes. Once we get through those three minutes, we're going to rest for a minute and move to our next group of exercises. The themes for our groups is going to be cardio, and then core, and then we've got a power section. So, the equipment that you're going to need is one heavier dumbbell, a set of super light dumbbells, this could be anywhere between one and seven pounds, and then you're also going to need a bench. If you don't have a bench, that's totally okay. You can use a support thing that's in your basement. You could use a super heavy dumbbell or something really stable. You could use a table if you have a really heavy table with one leg coming down. You have a lot of options and you can make really a lot of things work. So, our first three moves are going to be working on our cardio. So you're going to pick up your lighter set of dumbbells, and we're going to just start with a lateral kick. So we're going to hinge at the hips a little bit, kick out to the side. Now we're going to keep the core tight and keeping our toes facing forward. Once we get through that first round of lateral kicks, we're going to move right into some dumbbell punches. So right along the shoulders, we're going to be punching forward. And then last up in that round of three moves, is going to be that last move of a football shuffle run. So normally our football run is going to run like this, right, really fast. What we're going to do this time is we're going to make it lateral. So you're going to come over to one side, and then you're going to run it over to that other side. Super fast feet, and just hovering side to side. Then you're going to rest for a minute, and we move into our core section. So we're going to be starting with a plank with an alternating knee tap to the elbow. So. We've got a strong plank position. Opposite knee is going to come up to the elbow and out. Into the elbow and out. Really try to fight for that contact. We're not working for reps here. We're really working for a nice squeeze through the core and that contact if you can, or at least attempt it. All right, next up, we're going to be doing an alternating arm and leg dying bug. So laying on our back here, we're going to push one elbow into the opposite knee, reach out, come in, tap the shin, reach out, and in 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on that other side. All right, that's move two. And then last up here is our third move. You can stay on the ground. This is the no equipment version for what we want to do on the bench. That's going to be a dragon flag. So you can take your heavier dumbbell, reach it up tall, overhead, Right, just so your hands are up here. And we're gonna crunch our knees in. Hands can also be down. Crunch your knees in, and then come back down. Tap the heels down. Crunch the knees in, and then come down. Really trying to bring the hips up. If you have that bench, if you have that support beam in your basement or wherever, then we're going to reach our hands up, hold on to our bench, bring our hips up, and then come back down. With the bench option, you can keep your legs a little straighter and reach your feet up towards the ceiling to really activate your core. Your last three moves here, getting through them all, are going to be focusing on our power. So we've got our single arm dumbbell snatch as our first move, switching arms. Once that minute is completed, we've got our dumbbell swing, just like our kettlebell swing, hinging through the hips and popping forward. And then last up, we're gonna be doing a squat jump. So no weight here, squat down, jump up tall. You can tap the floor if you want to make sure that you're getting your hips low enough. And you can always make this no jump if you need no impact version. That's gonna be all of our moves for tomorrow, our timer format, and everything we need. I really hope to see you guys tomorrow morning. Only the 7 a.m. version time slot for our live Zoom class, but you always have that recorded video in case you need it. You guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.